Greetings, fellow Earthlings. Today we're diving into a cosmic conundrum that's been perplexing the brightest minds of our generation. Should real aliens have green cards? Picture this. Zorg and his family, recent refugees from the planet Globula 9, have just landed their spacecraft smack dab in the middle of Bob's backyard. Poor Bob. He just finished mowing, but hey, at least they didn't crash into his prized azaleas. That would have been a real interstellar incident. Now, our alien friend Zorg and his kin want to apply for green cards to legally reside on Earth. But things get complicated when they realize their intergalactic driver's licenses aren't considered valid IDs here. Oh, the bureaucracy. It's enough to make you want to blast off to another galaxy. So, what makes someone eligible for a green card here on Earth? Well, they need to prove they won't become a public charge, which in simple terms means they can't rely on government assistance. So, aliens, you better have some stellar job offers lined up. I hear there's a high demand for spaceship mechanics. Family ties are also important for green card eligibility. Luckily for Zorg, his third cousin, Grug, twice removed, is already living on Earth and operating a successful interdimensional wormhole business. Talk about a prime sponsor. Of course, there's always the lottery, the diversity visa lottery, that is. Now, Earthlings have their own misconceptions about this one, but it's actually a legitimate way for aliens to secure a green card. Unfortunately, with billions of potential applicants across the universe, the odds are less than stellar. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, a really, really big haystack. If all else fails, Zorg and his family could always apply for asylum, but they'll have to prove that they face persecution in their homeworld. With Globulon 9's recent invasion by the vicious Slorg Empire, their case is pretty solid. I mean, who wants to live under Slorg rule? Not me, thank you very much. So, do real aliens need green cards? The answer is an emphatic yes. After all, we can't have intergalactic visitors running amok on our planet without proper documentation, can we? That's a recipe for chaos, and not the fun kind. Thank you for joining me on this whimsical romp through extraterrestrial immigration law. Until next time, Earthlings, may your journeys through the cosmos be filled with laughter and befuddled bureaucrats. Farewell.